Greetings and salivations, everyone. I'm Krista. This is Fisher, and welcome to Sea Rad. Today, we're giving you an up close look at the new Grogu and Ahsoka mini mouse ears. So stay tuned. Sea Rad. Hi, everybody. Well, hello, 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 everyone. Welcome. We hope everyone's doing totally rad today. When I was at Disneyland, I did a video on the Star Wars trading post in downtown Disney and all of the new Grogu items that they had. Well, I do have a pair of the Grogu ears that I showed in that, so we're going to give you an up-close look at them. I'll tell you the details, and of course, we'll rate them on our scale of totally bad to totally rad. So, Fisher, I am going to have to put you to the side. You good with that? I'm good with that. All right, my little dude. Boop. We will see you in a little bit. So when I saw these Grogu ears, I knew I had to have to have them. And I, I didn't get them at the Disney park. I actually ordered them the day they released on Shop Disney because I didn't want to be carrying a bunch of stuff with me at Disneyland. I knew, you know, I'd probably get them faster. I ordered enough to get the free shipping. But OK, that's beside the point. I know you guys want to see the ears. How stinking adorable are these? So they're like a velvety material on the ears. And then a little Sherpa bow with a little Grogu patch on the front of it. On the ears, on this one, you have some embroidered butterflies. They are like a light bluish color and they do, they don't stick out a lot. They don't stand out, which I, I like. It's kind of a subtle little embroidery. And then on this side, you have the shifter knob. Super adorbs. The patch. Look at his face. I love the Sherpa bow. I think that's awesome. And then on the back, they are just plain. They should have embroidered the back, too. I think that would have been fun. But one thing I noticed on the last pair of ears that I bought... The CVS size tags are gone. This one has a lot of tags. They made them instead of one long tag. It's now a bunch of different pieces of paper or fabric tag material. So gone, gone are the long tags. I still might cut this one off because when you put them on, you're going to see them, guys. You still got to make sure that you're kind of hiding that tag a little bit. And it still does kind of stick out unless you have really super long hair to cover that. But how cute and adorable are these? I love it. But there, there is one downside to them that I've noticed. And I noticed it when people were wearing them in the park the other day, walking around with them. Grogu kind of disappears. Where he's placed on the bow, if the ears move forward on your head... Yeah, Grogu's gone. If you push him back... They still flop forward. You can kind of see them a little bit. So I, I think the placement of Grogu on these, that they could have worked on that a little bit. Maybe the next pair of Grogu ears, you guys, will get a little bit better. And I really, I don't mean to complain. I'm not complaining. I just like to give you guys honest reviews. And yeah, that is one of the things I noticed. Ears on me tend to kind of go forward like that. I'm constantly pushing them back. Probably just the shape of my head, where my ears are placed. My ear ears, not these ears. <laughs> but yeah, so Grogu kind of gets lost. Especially if you have a lot of hair up here too. I mean, a lot of times when I wear headbands, I'll pull my hair back like that. Can we see him better then? Nah, he still flops forward on me. And then of course the tag, you gotta make sure the tag's in the right spot. So, comfort-wise, they're pretty comfortable. They're pretty flexible. I love the little felty velour-type plush on the ears. Super cute. But, yeah, they should have moved that patch up just a little bit. Could you do that yourself? It is glued on there really, really good. I mean, you could, if you took the time and did it very, very carefully... You could probably move Grogu up a little bit on his own. I'm looking at the band. Sometimes they have things written on the band. Nothing written on the band on this one. But comfort-wise, I think they're super comfortable. 
Uh, if I can wear ears and not feel like I'm wearing ears and forget I'm wearing ears, then I really, really like them. Now, I did get a pair of ears at Disney the day I went. You probably saw them in my Disney video, so I wanted to show you guys those ears as well. I got the Ashley Eckstein Ahsoka ears. These are really, really cool. They're like a vegan leather material. The bow is like a silky, plushy bow double blue and orange and then it has the little ahsoka crown type thing in the front these are adorable and this is from her i am no jedi collection so the band also is like that vegan fake leather super cute and take these off show you these I like these. These are super, super, super duper comfortable. They're actually even more comfortable than the Grogu ears. So yeah, I, I like these. I wore them pretty much all day from like 7.30, 8 o'clock in the morning all the way till close to midnight. I did not take them off too much once in a while just to give my head a little bit of a break. But yeah, I, I love these. I adore these. I think they are super cute. Also, the small tag. I like this tag because it kind of hides the other tags. But yeah, so this is designer and then the smaller tags. So I think Disney is now definitely going the route of the smaller tags. And I love it. I think it's awesome. The Grogu ears on Shop Disney are $29.99 and the parks they are $34.99. I still haven't figured that one out. And the Ahsoka ears I paid with my Magic Key discount. They came out to about $30. They were also $34.99 in the park. So same price on the ears. These are not on Shop Disney yet. I hope they're coming for everyone. But these currently, at least at the time of filming this video, are only available in the park. These were both Shop Disney and the Disney parks. But super cute. Rating both of these ears on our scale of totally bad to totally rad. I have to call these just a rad, guys, mostly because of the placement of that really, really cute embroidered patch. If they had just done it up just a little bit, we would have been in better shape. These are totally rad, especially from the comfort viewpoint, because, yeah, like I said, I wore them over 12 hours, and I was good, did not realize they were on half the time. But, love them both. Even though this is a rad, I still love it, and I hope you guys like them too. Which ones do you like better? I know most of my people are going to say the Grogu ones, but these Ahsoka ones are pretty, pretty darn sweet. <laughs> but let me know in the comments. And thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more awesome and totally rad things in the future, please subscribe to our channel and turn that notification bell on so you don't miss seeing us. And I guess there's only one thing left to say, right? We'll see you later.